Artful Negotiation, Mastering the Game of Hostile Interactions. Let's get straight to the point. The burning question here is how can you get what you want from a hostile person by using only flat, neutral tones and non-hostile body language? Dealing with a hostile person can be challenging, but the combination of non-hostile body language Flat, neutral tones and effective communication skills can go a long way in diffusing tension and potentially even helping you get what you want. Here's a general guideline. One, stay calm and centered. This is important because if you remain calm, you're more likely to think clearly and respond effectively. Breathe deeply and try to clear your mind of any negative thoughts. Two, use a flat or neutral tone. An even measured tone can help keep the situation calm. Avoid escalating the situation by raising your voice, showing aggression or irritation in your tone, or being sarcastic. Three, maintain non-threatening body language. Body language is a major part of communication. Keep your posture open and relaxed. Avoid crossing your arms clenching your fists, or making any sudden movements. Maintain eye contact, but avoid staring intensely, which can be perceived as aggressive. Four, listen actively. Even if the person is hostile, try to hear them out. Understanding their point of view and acknowledging it can often diffuse hostility. Five, express empathy. Once they have shared their perspective, Express understanding and empathy. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them. Just show that you understand their feelings and perspective. Six, assert yourself calmly. After listening and expressing empathy, communicate your needs or wants. Use I statements to express your feelings and needs without blaming or criticizing the other person. For example, instead of saying, you never listen to me, you might want to say, I feel ignored when I try to discuss this matter with you. Seven, offer solutions or compromises. If possible, propose a solution or compromise that meets both your needs. This shows your willingness to cooperate and work to, towards a resolution. Eight, be patient. Changing the dynamics of a conversation, especially with someone who is being hostile, can take time. It may not work immediately, but don't let that discourage you. Set boundaries. Politely but firmly define your limits and expectations to the other person to establish a respectful conversation. 10. Use positive reinforcement. Praise or acknowledge the person when they exhibit behavior that promotes positive dialogue. 11. Avoid confrontational words. Words like must, should, or need can come off as demanding and intensify hostility. 12. Ignore provocations. It is often best to let any insults or jabs slide and not respond to them, as this could escalate the situation. 13. Stay focused. Try not to let the person distract you from the topic at hand. 14. Repeat your requests. If the person tries to deflect or ignore, Politely restate your needs. 15. Use visual aids. If possible, use charts, graphs, or written lists to clarify your points and avoid misunderstandings. 16. Speak slowly. Speaking too quickly can be interpreted as being nervous or defensive. 17. Speak clearly. Enunciate your words to ensure they understand what you are saying. 18. Try not to justify. Over-explaining or justifying your request can give them more room to argue. 19. Breathe. Take slow, deep breaths to remain calm and centered. 20. Pause before responding. This gives you time to think and them time to absorb what you are saying. 21. Do not interrupt. Allow them to finish their thoughts, even if you disagree. 
22. Stay firm, but kind. Don't allow the person to bully you into submission, but remain kind while standing your ground. 23. Do not take it personally. Remember that their hostility likely has more to do with them than you. 24. Use their name. Using the person's name can make your communication seem more personal and respectful. 25. Ask open-ended questions. This can encourage them to express their thoughts and feelings and can help you understand their perspective better. 26. Do not make assumptions. Do, do not assume you know what the person thinks or feels. Ask them to clarify if needed. 27. Limit body contact. Touch can be misinterpreted, especially in a tense situation. Keep a respectful distance. 28. Avoid absolutes. Avoid using words like always or never, which can increase defensiveness. Remember, everyone is unique and reacts differently, so you may need to adjust these strategies based on the specific person and situation. And again, always prioritize your own safety. Walk away from the conversation if it becomes threatening or abusive. Sometimes it's best to remove yourself if necessary. Thank you.